you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my youtube channel you guys in today's video i'm going to talk about all of the summer homeschool plans that i have for my kiddos this year so you guys let's go ahead and get right on into this video so you guys like i'm so excited i am right at this very moment wrapping up my school year this week is going to be our last week of school the only thing we have to finish up this week is really um, our science curriculum and my daughter has to take a standardized test so that's all we have for our last week of homeschool so already I still kind of feel right now that I'm already like kickstarting my summer so um, I'm really excited to share with you guys like my summer homeschool plans that I have for my daughter if any of you guys are new here to my channel I'm Brittany I am a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10 4 and 2 and I have just completed my second year of homeschooling you guys so I am a pandemic homeschooler however you guys um, I think I'm in this thing for the long haul I really have grown to uh, love homeschooling love the freedom the flexibility I just really love everything about it so um, yeah so you guys this year we're going to kind of transition into doing something completely new and completely different I really want to try year-around homeschooling so our summer is going to be pretty pretty short this year because in July we are going to go ahead and kickstart off our uh, fifth grade year so I'm really really excited to try out um, year-round homeschooling really because our seasons here in Georgia Georgia. you guys like right now the weather is nice we have this cool breeze it's fun to be outside and play but you guys once we hit like July and August like you don't you do not want to be outside I promise you you can fry an egg on like the concrete it is that hot uh, it's just really to the point where um, the kids can't really go outside and enjoy the weather when it gets to like July and August so last year you guys we were kind of like stuck in the house so I figured we should go ahead and just continue and start our homeschooling year. My daughter told me in July, she was so bored, she was ready to start school. Um, so I think this year, I'm just gonna try it out. And then in September, when the weather gets cooler, we will be able to have more um, days off in the fall to be able to enjoy that season instead of us, you know, just being bogged down with all of like our hardcore curriculum. So that is my plan. So we're going to, uh, we're going to have our summer break the whole month of June and half of May because our last day of school is May 20th or the last two weeks of May. So um, that is going to be our summer. So it's going to be about like six to seven weeks of summer. And then in July, we're going to be headed on into our uh, school year. We're going to have like a gentle start into our school year. So now that I gave you guys <laughs> the rundown, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the read alouds that I have planned for us for our uh, summer slash start of our upcoming homeschool year. So right now, you guys, we are finished finishing up Fast Pitch, which is a really, really cute story about Shanice. She is a softball player. She is actually the captain of a uh, all black girl softball team, which is new in her community. So she is trying to lead her team to victory. And so far we have read the first, I think, uh, first four chapters of this book. Um, and I cannot wait for us to continue this book on into our summer break. And yeah, so this is one of our read alouds that we're gonna finish up. Another read aloud I have selected for us is The Lemonade War. So I really am excited about this one. This book really goes on into uh, talking about entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship. <laughs> entrepreneur. Okay, you guys, I can't talk right now. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so um, I really think Brielle is going to enjoy this book, uh, reading about the Lemonade War, uh, reading about what happens. Maybe we can bring in some uh, finance in here. So I really feel like this is going to be a fun one for the summertime. We're also going to be reading Here in the Real World, which is a story um, from Sarah Pennypacker. This follows along a group of kids while they're at summer camp. So I feel like this is a pretty ambitious but fun pile of read alouds that we can do uh, for our summer. Now, some of these are going to roll into the start of our school year. So I'm really, really excited because it's still going to be summer. And I think these are going to be like fun books that we can kick off our um, homeschooling year in July as well. So as far as like curriculum goes, my daughter told me she does not want to take a break from math. So we are going to be continuing doing Saxon math. She's going to start Saxon math in June and then just continue it on. So she's going to have like a couple of weeks break from math. But math is one of those subjects for my daughter. If she takes too long of a break, she kind of gets rusty and she doesn't like that feeling of having to uh, review and get caught back on those skills that she remembered she once has um, had down packed. So 
we are going to go ahead and continue with Saxon. We ended off our year on Lesson 64, so we are halfway through Saxon 6.5, so I'm really, really proud of her uh, for all of the work that she put in this semester. So we are just gonna chug along with this. She's going to do four lessons a week um, until the start of our official uh, school year. So um, four lessons a week. Saxon is completely independent for my daughter because she actually utilizes Nicole the Math Lady, which has been such a great resource for me. Um, um, so she can do this work independently. Saxon takes her about 45 minutes. So 45 minutes of her day doing math, I don't think she minds. And she actually told me she wants to continue math. So uh, I'm gonna listen to Brie and she's gonna work on Saxon math for the summer. Along with that, I want my daughter to continue to work on her creative writing. She loves writing on her spare time. So she actually started this uh, summer um, journal last year and I gave it to her the other day and she kind of was able to read some of the things that she wrote. She had a little bucket list in here for last summer. So I want her to continue using the same exact journal that she used last summer and uh, to get creative, to write some things down, to have fun, to draw, uh, whatever she is feeling that day. I want her to grab this journal and document it. Document uh, some of the things that we get up to some in summertime. We have like a lot of uh, little pools and splash pads and things like that that I'm gonna take the girls to. Um, in the library, every season we get free tickets to the zoo and we get free tickets to the aquarium through our library system. So those are some activities that we can do. Uh, no cost to us, the only thing we have to pay is like the parking and everything like that. So uh, when we get up to like those fun adventure types of things she's gonna have an opportunity to write about them for like her summer thing so I'm really happy for her to continue this so you guys along with summer I do have some like extra workbooks that we worked on last year these are just like some supplemental workbooks I pulled off my shelf this is not gonna be really like required of her to do or anything like that but um, if she wants to and if I find that uh, it's something we want to refresh some of our skills on we can grab some of these workbooks we already have at home I have this uh, reading comprehension test that she actually uses for uh, practicing preparing for her standardized test we didn't complete this one for the school year I think we have like three or four more tests in here that she can do I also have this great grammar book from Scholastics that she worked on last summer. Uh, this right here is really cool for her refreshing some of her uh, grammar skills. It's really, really simple workbooks because these are all uh, grammar skills she already knows. This will be like review for her. I will not have to teach her anything. So this is just gonna be all official independent work. Along with that, you guys, I also have her uh, 180 days of spelling and word study so she can work on those vocabulary skills. Not necessarily spelling because she's really, really good at spelling so this is another workbook we can pull off if we want to add something to it so I do have like these workbooks um, on my shelf I really didn't want to go out and buy like one of those summer workbooks I just really wanted to utilize like what I had so um, if we want to use these we do have these but the main thing I want her to do and we're going to do is going to be our um, Saxon math and we are going to work on our read alouds so that is it for Brielle so Brielle's pretty much going to be independent the rest of her time I really still want her to enjoy her summer um so yeah so you guys since my focus is not going to be on Brielle I'm really going to spend all the extra time that I have to focus with my two younger toddlers you guys we um we didn't get a chance to do as many activities as I wanted to in our playing preschool. So I'm going to pull this baby back out and we are going to like have fun doing some of these activities in here. And I definitely think the girls are going to love it, especially some of the activities that they have for um, this next unit that we're in. We are going to be doing the nursery rhyme unit next and they're going to love this activity right here where they get a chance to play like in the water as they are learning about Jack and Jill. So it's a lot of fun activities and outdoor activities that I can pull out uh, doing this play in preschool. I really want to uh, give that extra special time to my toddlers this summer while Brielle is like off and on break, really because I didn't have that much time to focus in on them as much this school year. We had a pretty rocky school year to start off with and then 
once we finally got into the flow of things, I really was just trying to wrap up things with Brielle. So I really want to give my toddlers uh, that special attention, especially before we start off our new school year. So um, playing preschool is going to be fun. We are going to continue playing preschool throughout our school year. However, I really want to get a good kickstart on it and get like into a good routine with playing preschool. Along with that, uh, we are going to be working on preschool math at home, you guys. Leia, my four-year-old who is doing this program, she has been doing so well with preschool math at home. She really enjoys this hands-on approach to math, uh, using just real life things around our home. And right now we are on chapter two. So she is going through this preschool math at home pretty fast. So I don't anticipate her working on this one for too long. So I'm really excited for us to continue off with preschool math at home. And then you guys, the last thing that we are going to be doing is we're going to be working on exploring nature with children. So I really, like I said before in my other video, I really want to get out there in nature. I really want to challenge myself to get out there in nature with my kiddos. So we actually have started exploring nature with children. We started it early in May. We did the caterpillar weeks that they had. We didn't do the ant week that they had in the middle of May. And right now we are going into butterfly week. And it's so amazing that we are going through this process with exploring nature with children because we actually got live caterpillars and we are watching them turn into butterflies. Right now they're in their chrysalis phase and I actually was able to put them in their habitat today. So we have another 10 more days before we actually have caterpillars so I mean not caterpillars before we have butterflies so it's really really exciting uh, doing this and reading all the books one of the books that we are reading right now with Explore Nature with Children is A Butterfly is Patient and I'm so happy like this is one of the books I already had like on my shelf so I'm so happy that we are going through like the life cycle of the butterfly or the caterpillar butterfly it's it's been so much fun and it's just so crazy how we've been able to experience each process by watching these caterpillars. So um, I have really been enjoying exploring nature with children. I really hope that I can, can continue to add in these nature studies throughout our school year. Um, at least once a month, I want to challenge myself to do it because it's been so much fun. So we have a trail that's really, really close to us um, and I wanna take the kiddos down the trail, uh, maybe do some nature hikes, especially before it gets too hot here in Georgia like I said before you guys we be hitting like hundreds hundred fives in the summer it's so hot so um, before the weather gets that hot I really want to go out there in nature and enjoy that with the kiddos okay you guys when we actually start off our homeschooling year in July after we have like officially wrapped up our summer break we are going to give like a soft start to our fifth grade uh, year so the only things that I have planned for us to start off in July is going to be uh, Saxon and math we're going to continue with this we are going to go ahead and get on into our uh, fix it grammar we're going to be in the second book the town mouse and the country mouse and then we are also going to do iew so that is all i have planned for us for our soft start for our um, homeschooling year in july uh, just to get prepared when august hits is when i'm probably going to go ahead and add in like our science and our history so we're going to start off our homeschooling year just doing these three things in july um, I don't anticipate us having like full full days in July but it's gonna be probably like maybe two hours we're gonna dedicate on school doing these things right here so I'm really excited to try out year-round homeschooling I really hope it gives me the flexibility and more breaks that I am looking for in our homeschool I really want to start adding in those enrichment things like nature study art study composer study I really want to add those things into our homeschool and I figured the only way for me to be able to do it is for me to give myself more time and not confine myself in this like eight month school period or 36 week school period to get it all done. So um, I really hope this year round homeschooling does work out for us. Um, if it doesn't, I can always go back. But uh, yeah, that's just what we're going to try out this year. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope you enjoy seeing like all of our summer homeschool plans. I really hope you kind of get some inspiration from this video about what we're doing for our summer. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.